Welcome to Zero Trust Cyber Tips and Tricks. In today's video we will be talking about MITRE ATT and CK tactics and techniques. If you're in the cybersecurity field, you may have heard of this framework, but what exactly is it and how can it be used to improve your organization's security? In this video series, we'll give you an overview of what MITRE ATT and CK is and take a closer look at the tactics and techniques used by attackers. Introduction to MITRE Attack MITRE ATT and CK is a globally accessible knowledge base of adversary tactics and techniques based on real-world observations. The attack knowledge base is used as a foundation for the development of specific threat models and methodologies in the private sector, in government, and in the cybersecurity product and service community. MITRE ATT&CK, short for Adversarial Tactics, Techniques, and Common Knowledge, is a framework that provides a comprehensive understanding of the methods and tactics used by cyber attackers. The framework is organized into a matrix that includes different tactics on the vertical axis, such as initial access, execution, persistence, etc. Part 5. Understanding Persistence. The adversary is trying to maintain their foothold. Persistence consists of techniques that adversaries use to keep access to systems across restarts, changed credentials, and other interruptions that could cut off their access. Techniques used for persistence include any access, action, or configuration changes that let them maintain their foothold on systems, such as replacing or hijacking legitimate code or adding startup code. There are various techniques that can be used for persistence, this are, some of them. Account manipulation. Adversaries may manipulate accounts to maintain access to victim systems. Account manipulation may consist of any action that preserves adversary access to a compromised account, such as modifying credentials or permission groups. These actions could also include account activity designed to subvert security policies, such as performing iterative password updates to bypass password duration policies and preserve the life of compromised credentials. Bits jobs. Adversaries may abuse bits jobs to persistently execute code and perform various background tasks. Windows Background Intelligent Transfer Service, BITS, is a low bandwidth, asynchronous file transfer mechanism exposed through component object model, COM. BITS is commonly used by updaters, messengers, and other applications preferred to operate in the background, using available idle bandwidth, without interrupting other networked applications. File transfer tasks are implemented as BITS jobs, which contain a queue of one or more file operations. Boot or logon autostart execution. Adversaries may configure system settings to automatically execute a program during system boot or logon to maintain persistence or gain higher level privileges on compromised systems. Operating systems may have mechanisms for automatically running a program on system boot or account logon. These mechanisms may include automatically executing programs that are placed in specially designated directories or are referenced by repositories that store configuration information, such as the Windows Registry. An adversary may achieve the same goal by modifying or extending features of the kernel. Registry Run Keys, Startup Folder. Adversaries may achieve persistence by adding a program to a startup folder or referencing it with a registry run key. Adding an entry to the run keys in the registry or startup folder will cause the program reference to be executed when a user logs in. These programs will be executed under the context of the user and will have the account's associated permissions level. When login helper DLL. Adversaries may abuse features of when login to execute DLLs and or executables when a user logs in. When login. X is a Windows component responsible for actions at logon, logoff as well as the secure attention sequence, SAS, triggered by Control-Alt-Delete. Registry entries in HKLM, software. WoW 6432 node, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, WinLogin, and HKCU, software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, WinLogin, are used to manage additional helper programs and functionalities that support WinLogin. Kernel modules and extensions. Adversaries may modify the kernel to automatically execute programs on system boot. Loadable kernel modules, LKMs, are pieces of code that can be loaded and unloaded into the kernel upon demand. They extend the functionality of the kernel without the need to reboot the system. For example, one type of module is the device driver, which allows the kernel to access hardware connected to the system. Boot or logon initialization scripts. 
Adversaries may use scripts automatically executed at boot or logon initialization to establish persistence. Initialization scripts can be used to perform administrative functions, which may often execute other programs or send information to an internal logging server. These scripts can vary based on operating system and whether applied locally or remotely. Reopened applications. Adversaries may modify plist files to automatically run an application when a user logs in. When a user logs out or restarts via the macOS graphical user interface, GUI, a prompt is provided to the user with a checkbox to reopen Windows when logging back in. When selected, all applications currently open are added to a property list file named com. Apple. Login window. UUID. Plist within the tilde, library, preferences, by host directory. Applications listed in this file are automatically reopened upon the user's next logon. Scheduled task, job. Adversaries may abuse task scheduling functionality to facilitate initial or recurring execution of malicious code. Utilities exist within all major operating systems to schedule programs or scripts to be executed at a specified date and time. A task can also be scheduled on a remote system, provided the proper authentication is met. X. RPC and file and printer sharing in Windows environments. Scheduling a task on a remote system typically may require being a member of an admin or otherwise privileged group on the remote system. Create or modify system process. Adversaries may create or modify system level processes to repeatedly execute malicious payloads as part of persistence. When operating systems boot up, they can start processes that perform background system functions. On Windows and Linux, these system processes are referred to as services. On macOS, launch processes known as launch daemon and launch agent are run to finish system initialization and load user-specific parameters. Preventions and mitigations for persistence includes 1. Implementing strong authentication and access controls, such as multi-factor authentication and least privilege access, to limit access to sensitive systems and data. 2. Regularly monitor malicious services or processes, scheduled tasks, registry run keys, startup folder, bootkit and rootkit. 3. Regularly patching and updating software and systems to address known vulnerabilities. 4. Implementing network segmentation and isolation to limit the spread of an attack. 5. Implementing endpoint protection software, such as antivirus, EDR and anti-malware, to detect and block malicious code. 6. Implementing security controls, such as firewalls and intrusion detection and prevention systems, to monitor and block unauthorized access attempts. 7. Implementing a vulnerability management program to identify, assess, and mitigate vulnerabilities in systems and networks. 8. Regularly monitoring and analyzing network traffic for suspicious activity. 9. Regularly reviewing and managing user accounts, including disabling or removing accounts of employees who have left the organization. 10. Educating employees about the importance of security and the risks of phishing and social engineering attacks. 11. Implementing security awareness and training program for employees. 12. Having an incident response plan in place and regularly testing it to ensure readiness in case of any attack. MITRE ATT and CK framework provides a comprehensive understanding of the techniques and methods used by attackers to persistence and can help organizations to identify potential vulnerabilities and implement countermeasures to prevent persistence. For more information about persistence, go to MITRE website at https colon slash slash attack.mitre.org. In the next video we will be talking about MITRE attack, privilege escalation. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more cybersecurity tips and tricks.